We physicists have waited 100 years since 1916 for this renowned physicist, Dr. Michio Kaku, a pioneer in theoretical physics who has dedicated his life to unraveling the deepest secrets of the universe. Now, he's embarked on a quest to challenge and potentially rewrite the fundamental laws that govern our existence. Widely regarded as one of the greatest scientific minds of our era, Dr. Kaku boldly suggests that our reality might be nestled within the confines of a black hole. Just imagine the profound implications. Our entire perception of time and space encapsulated within the immense gravitational pull of these cosmic enigmas. But what exactly is a black hole, and how did it come to be? Join us as we delve into this captivating journey, exploring the extraordinary possibilities concealed within these cosmic phenomena. We'll examine recent images captured by the James Webb Space Telescope, which could potentially reshape our understanding of the universe's origin. According to leading scientists, black holes are far from mere empty voids in space. They are intricate cosmic wonders. These colossal concentrations of matter compressed into unimaginably small spaces possess a gravitational force so intense that even light cannot escape. Despite their invisibility, their presence is evident through their profound impact on surrounding matter. Some black holes are encircled by swirling disks of gas and dust, emitting vast amounts of radiation and earning the title of quasars, the universe's dazzling entities. But how do these mesmerizing phenomena form? Scientists propose various types of black holes, notably stellar black holes born from the collapse of massive stars and supermassive black holes residing at the hearts of galaxies like our own Milky Way. While the precise formation mechanisms remain a puzzle, theories range from stellar collapse to mergers of smaller black holes or the absorption of nearby stars over immense timescales. Recent observations by the James Webb Space Telescope Challenge established theories, particularly concerning the universe's birth. Dr. Kaku, known for his candid views, highlights the telescope's groundbreaking discoveries, including the detection of galaxies just half a billion years after the Big Bang and galaxies 10 times larger than our Milky Way. This revelation poses a significant conundrum. According to current understanding, such massive galaxies should not have existed at such an early cosmic epoch. Dr. Kaku emphasizes the need to reconsider and potentially revise our understanding of the universe's origins in light of these perplexing findings. These galaxies, containing billions of stars, emerged when the universe was still in its infancy, raising profound questions about cosmic evolution and the fundamental laws governing our existence. The timeline of galaxy formation depicted by recent discoveries challenges current models, suggesting a faster and earlier evolution than previously thought. This intriguing puzzle may necessitate fresh insights from physics or the development of novel techniques for galaxy creation. As aptly termed by Dr. Kaku, the groundbreaking revelation of these universe breakers underscores the James Webb Space Telescope's ability to provide a novel perspective on the cosmos's early history, challenging existing notions and urging exploration into uncharted territories of knowledge. Astronomers from Swinburne University of Technology in Melbourne, Australia, led by EVOL Lobb, made a significant breakthrough by analyzing photos taken by the JWST in July 2022. These images, capturing a small portion of the sky, revealed six galaxies of exceptional brightness and reddish hue previously undetectable by other telescopes. Employing photometric redshift estimates, the team determined the galaxy's distances from Earth, revealing incredibly high redshift values ranging from 9.5 to 11.5, this implies that the light from these galaxies originated more than 700 million years ago, challenging previous records. Further analysis revealed the astonishingly large stellar masses of these galaxies, ranging from 10 to 100 billion times the mass of our Sun, rivaling or exceeding that of our Milky Way. These findings contradicted conventional theories of gradual galaxy growth, suggesting a swift transformation of gas into stars. Additionally, Discrepancies emerged concerning cosmological theories based on studies of the cosmic microwave background. As these galaxies contain more mass than anticipated for their respective regions of space at that time, the presence of old and red stars in these galaxies raised questions about star formation and chemical enrichment in young environments. To address these disparities, scientists considered alternative explanations, including the possibility that these objects might not be galaxies 
but rather quasars or other active galactic nuclei fueled by supermassive black holes at their centers. These findings underscore the complexity of the early universe and the need for continued exploration and refinement of our understanding. However, the absence of distinct spectral signatures expected from active galactic nuclei in these objects raises questions. The formation and accretion of matter onto supermassive black holes typically require time, making it rare at such high redshifts. Another possibility is that the models and theories used to interpret the observations were flawed, leading to uncertainties about these galaxies' evolution. Further exploration and analysis are necessary to unravel the mysteries surrounding these extraordinary galaxies and shed light on the mechanisms behind their formation and evolution. These processes may involve the creation of colossal galaxies within a brief time frame without relying on mergers or accretion. Alternatively, these galaxies might be outliers that emerged under extraordinary conditions or in rare regions of space, rather than being representative of the general population at that time. These anomalies could potentially challenge our understanding of cosmology or physics, suggesting novel events or interactions beyond the scope of current models. Dr. Kaku speculates that factors such as the annihilation of dark matter or primordial density fluctuations could have influenced the early universe's volume and distribution of matter, resulting in variations in mass and faster expansion in certain regions. Additionally, evidence for new dimensions or additional forces, such as those proposed in string theory or modified gravity, could impact our understanding of the universe's fundamental laws. While these are theoretical possibilities, they underscore the need for further investigation and testing with more data and improved models in the years to come. The James Webb Space Telescope, equipped with a range of instruments capable of conducting comprehensive studies, is expected to provide more information about these peculiar galaxies and their implications for cosmology and physics in the future. Meanwhile, in a fascinating development, observations by the James Webb Space Telescope have shed new light on the mystery of globular clusters, ancient clusters housing millions of stars within a confined space. Webb's findings reveal the intense brilliance of stars within these clusters, along with an abundance of nitrogen, suggesting the presence of giant stars. These insights offer clues to the formation and evolution of these enigmatic clusters, providing new avenues for exploration in the study of stellar dynamics and evolution. Amidst these revelations, Dr. Kaku offers an alternative explanation for recent discoveries, suggesting that the JWST may have encountered black holes instead of baby galaxies. This hypothesis challenges conventional theories of galaxy formation, proposing that these objects could be monstrous black holes born from the aftermath of creation itself. Such a notion hints at the emergence of new laws of physics within these mysterious cosmic entities, pushing the boundaries of our understanding of the universe. Contemplating the cosmos further, Another related theory proposes that the universe itself could be a colossal black hole originating from the collapse of a gargantuan black hole, giving birth to an even larger cosmos within the event horizon of a black hole. Where gravity is so intense that nothing can escape, space-time becomes distorted, leading to a singularity, a point of infinite density and curvature. Some scientists entertain the possibility of another event horizon within the black hole, opening up to an alternate world beyond our current understanding. The intriguing notion that our universe resides within a black hole nested inside another universe suggests the existence of other universes within other black holes. While theoretical models support this idea, no observational evidence or experiments have yet validated it. However, this hypothesis offers a compelling perspective on our cosmic origins, particularly concerning what transpired before the Big Bang. The Big Bang Theory describes the universe's birth from a dense state of matter and energy approximately 13.8 billion years ago. However, it fails to explain what triggered this initial condition or what preceded it. Some physicists, including Dr. Kaku, have remained dissatisfied with this explanation and strive to uncover a more profound explanation for the creation of our universe. One compelling theory posits that our universe evolved from a black hole in another universe offering a fascinating perspective on our cosmic origins. This concept was introduced by Russian physicist Andrei Linda in 1973 and expanded upon by physicists like Lee Smolin, Nikodem Poplowski, and Stephen Hawking. According to this theory, our universe could be just one among countless others within a vast expanse called the multiverse, 
each with its own distinct set of physical laws. Imagine these universes as separate entities, each with its own rules and characteristics. Some of them might even house extraordinary phenomena like black holes capable of giving birth to entirely new universes. How is this possible? Think of a black hole as a structure existing within the fabric of space and time, as described by Einstein's general theory of relativity. Within a black hole, gravity is so overwhelmingly strong that it distorts the fabric of reality, forming a seemingly bottomless pit known as a singularity. However, some physicists argue that these singularities are not physical entities but rather mathematical artifacts. They propose that when we push the boundaries of general relativity, quantum effects come into play, preventing singularities from emerging inside black holes and giving rise to new regions of space-time with unique characteristics. These new space-time regions could be new worlds with entirely different physical laws, separated from their parent universes by event horizons. These boundaries act as invisible barriers beyond which nothing can escape or communicate. This remarkable scenario envisions a cosmic separation between universes, each with its own unique properties. Within the enigmatic depths of a black hole, the formation of new universes could be occurring, expanding the boundary of our understanding and revealing the infinite possibilities within the vast tapestry of the multiverse. Another idea suggests that these newly discovered regions of space-time might be wormhole shortcuts or tunnels in the fabric of space-time, offering yet another fascinating avenue for exploration in the realms of cosmology and theoretical physics. Worm, holes, hypothetical solutions to Einstein's general relativity equations offer a fascinating scenario where each end of the wormhole would connect to distinct worlds. One end would be inside a black hole, specifically within its event horizon, while the other would be outside a child black hole's event horizon. In this intriguing concept, matter and energy that fall into a black hole in one universe could potentially emerge as a white hole in another universe. Unlike a black hole from which nothing can escape, a white hole acts as a region of space where nothing can enter but everything can leave. It serves as a source for a new universe, providing the necessary ingredients such as matter, energy, space-time, and physical laws. This process could perpetuate endlessly, resulting in an infinite hierarchy or network of universes within universes. Each universe within this vast cosmic tapestry possesses its own unique history, evolution, structure, composition, and ultimate fate. This theory offers a compelling explanation for the existence of our universe, its origins, composition, and destiny. It also presents potential solutions to various cosmological enigmas, such as why our universe possesses lower entropy, finely tuned physical constants, inflation, dark energy, dark matter, baryon symmetry, large-scale structure, cosmic microwave background radiation, primordial gravitational waves, quantum fluctuations, and quantum entanglement. However, this theory faces numerous challenges and objections despite its allure. It is highly speculative, untestable, and incomplete. Critics argue that it falls prey to inconsistencies, paradoxes, circular reasoning, and ad hoc explanations. Additionally, it delves into metaphysical and anthropic realms, making it difficult to establish its validity scientifically. In essence, while this theory presents a captivating narrative for the existence and nature of our universe, it encounters significant obstacles that question its scientific validity and practical applicability. Continuing to explore the depths of our universe, another area of intriguing research involves the potential detection of primordial black holes. These hypothetical objects are thought to have formed in the very early universe, shortly after the Big Bang, potentially playing a significant role in cosmic evolution. Their presence might help explain some of the unresolved questions about the universe's formation and the distribution of dark matter. Primordial black holes are theorized to have a range of masses, from microscopic to stellar-sized, depending on the conditions of the early universe. If they exist, they could provide crucial insights into the nature of dark matter, as their gravitational effects would influence the formation and behavior of galaxies. Furthermore, their potential detection would validate several theoretical predictions and could open new avenues in our understanding of quantum gravity and the interplay between general relativity and quantum mechanics. Observatories such as LIGO and Virgo have already detected several gravitational wave events, providing a novel way to observe the universe. 
These detections not only confirm aspects of Einstein's theory of general relativity, but also offer a new lens through which we can study the dynamics of black holes and neutron stars, shedding light on phenomena that are otherwise invisible to conventional telescopes.